We've enlarged one of our biggest minis to 200% the size and made it through the scale. Hello everyone! That's not really my line, is it? Anyways, you can call me Matt, and today we're going big. No, no, no. Huge. No, no, no. Colossal. Because sometimes size matters. Meet Gultrot de Fortes. But this, although quite big, isn't really colossal, is it? Well, we thought so too, so we decided to double the size. This mini is part of the Crusade of Darkness bundle, released last December, and was provided in three scales. This small one, printable in one piece, this second model, cut for resin printers, which is already quite chunky, sporting this beautiful paint job by Masia, and finally, the coffee table size monstrosity we're showing off today in detail. But before we move on, don't you forget to like, comment, share and subscribe because it makes me look awesome to my boss. Thank you! Without further ado, shall we? <laughs> Wowee! Like every one of our models, Goldtrop begins in concept art, which then becomes the basis for sculpting. First general shaping, then sculpting, posing, retouching, finishing, etc. What comes out of that journey is a highly detailed and textured miniature, cut, supported and ready to print. Now, to print this golden retriever sized, 200% enlarged Leviathan in FDM, we had to cut him up so as to optimize assembling quality and minimize the need for supports. We end up with pieces ready to print in 20 by 20 inch or larger printers. For faster printing times, we set the printer up with a 0.4 mm nozzle, 0.32 mm thickest layer, two walls and minimum possible infill. That led us to great printing times and the quality was still pretty good. Final tally, this mini is full of PLA filament, which due to its warp resistance, will ensure us a smooth assembly. Finishing this little thing takes a while due to its sheer size, but you know it will all be worth in the end. After printing, we begin by sanding flat sides for a gapless fit and better adhesion. If you ever run out of friends as you disappear months at a time to work on a massive project, get an orbital sander. It will be your new BFM. After super gluing a grand total of 81 pieces, double checking the 3D model for window and shrubbery position, here's the big boy or girl in all its unfinished glory. An extra cool feature of this model is that the castle can be detached from the tortoise's body, so you can simply use it. Or maybe even play the good old this mountain is actually a giant slumbering behemoth and you've just woken it up card. Did I say an orbital sander was your best friend? Nah, a rotary grinder is your best, best friend. Trust me. Actually, a 3D pen for gap filling is in fact your best friend. The real friends are the tools we buy along the way. Another great trick is mixing up resin with baby powder. You can regulate the viscosity with the amount of powder added and it makes for a great gap filler as well. After doing the seams with a soldering iron, a good sanding with an abrasive sponge does wonders on those organic shapes to wrap up the finishing process. Projects such as this Fortis can seem a little intimidating, and they often are a handful. 
but painting this type of model is actually much easier than regular minis. If going through bottles and bottles of paint isn't an issue, that is. And now, to the paint job! First, we prime. Be it paintbrush, airbrush, or spray can, just make sure it gets in every nook and cranny. Did I tell you an airbrush is also a great friend to have? To add texture and contrast, dry brushing is surely the way to go. Now, we add some detail to make it more fun to explore. And call it done. Finally, it's playtime. <laughs> it's playtime. This is Goldtron in all its glory. If you click the link below, you can sign up to the Fantasy subscription and get the Crusade of Darkness bundle at a discount. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell us in the comments what sort of big projects you would like to see us do. We love doing crazy and big stuff like this, so dare us to do it. Dare us. We're probably gonna fall for it. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.